Well, here we go. The official start of summer is this weekend, and if you're off for a fun time, get ready. You're not alone because the roads and the friendly skies will be crowded with more people set to travel this year on Memorial Day than last year. David Romero is getting a jump on all the Memorial Day weekend travel. He is live at Paseo del Norte and Interstate 25. David, traffic starting to pick up out there? Yeah, it's about usual for a Friday morning. Uh, we're pre-rush hour now. We're coming up on it within about uh, 30 to 40 minutes, and it's looking good so far. And, of course, a lot of people traveling and hitting the road later today are going to be hoping for the same. Now, AAA estimates that about 34.8 million Americans will be traveling a distance of greater than 50 miles from their home on this holiday weekend. That's up from about 1.2. That's up 1.2 percent from last year at this time. Now, since the gas prices have been a little bit forgiving to the public, that may help in encouraging travel. Current estimates have gas prices around the country down about 25 cents from this time last year. For people going long distances by air, that may be a bit of good news and bad news, and of course the ones by traveling by the road as well. That's because car rental rates are dropping, but hotel rates are on the rise. Even though AAA predicts a decline in airline travel by about 5.5%, the Sunport in Albuquerque is still expecting a lot of people to pass through their doors this weekend. Looking at today at about 9,000 outgoing passengers, you essentially double that, and that's basically the total passenger count. So we'll be seeing anywhere from 18 to 20,000 folks coming through here uh, today and tomorrow. We've been telling you this all morning. The best recommendation for traveling by the road is to leave very early and avoid those rush hour times when people are getting to and from work. And of course, if you don't make that window, the next best bet is to leave in the middle of the day when it's a little bit lighter. And of course, after the evening rush hour, sometime after five or six. And of course, the same applies to those going to the Sunport. You want to get there early and get all your baggage checked in. The last thing you want to do is get clogged up and a lot of people trying to get to the airlines. Matt, back to you. Oh, absolutely, David. And you know those planes are going to be full. There are fewer flights, more people traveling. It is not a good situation. Thanks, David. We'll see you in a half hour. You can also find out if the weather might affect your travel plans by car if you call 311, the New Mexico Road Hotline.